Hey guys, I'm out near the back door to the garden and this is where I've got um, plants. I've got my butterfly bush, I've got my two clematis, I've got a thumbergia and I have an iceberg rose out here. Now the thumbergia I bought as a little pot um, a fair while ago now. I reckon I've had this in for two seasons so it must have been one of the first plants I bought when I moved in but I just am not loving it. I've been watching it now for a while and I just always feel like it looks like it's half dead. Now in this screen here it looks beautiful but from a bit of a distance it's got that look as if it's had spider mites or some kind of sucking insect. I'm just not getting, I've got a couple of nice flowers here but I'm just not getting a lot of um, you know really strong blooming. It kind of wants to grow up the trellis a little bit but not a lot. It trails heavily so I'm always having to prune it up and anyway I just I've really decided that I don't like it so I am going to pull it out today and I was then thinking all right well I know I want to pull it out I don't just want an empty pot sitting here and I was wandering through Bunnings and I saw a mandevillia Doo -doo -doo. isn't that pretty um diamantina jade white what else does the tag tell us? Um, it's going to grow 45 centimetres. Oh gosh, I didn't pick that very well, did I? Well, that's not a climber. Isn't that interesting? I was expecting to buy a bit of a climber, Mandevillia, because that's my experience with them. So I didn't read the tag. Anyway, that's fine. I, I like this. I think it's cute. But again, I don't know if I'm going to want this um, all the time because I think it's a little bit too tropical for like tropical look for the area that I've got out here. But that doesn't matter. I'm going to plant it because I have it now and I don't want to let it go to waste. So I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to plant the mandevillia that is not what I thought it was. <laughs> Oh dear. And um, anyway, that'll put something in this pot until I have a good thing about it and decide what else to do. So let's just rip this out, get this one in. I'm not going to change the soil. Um, I know that this plant's been in there for a while, but um, because I didn't know what I wanted to do with this plant um, or with this pot, sorry, I was never planning on changing the soil. I will just throw a bit of fertilizer in to refresh the, the soil in there. And um, anyway, we'll see what this one does. Maybe I love it. Maybe it just turns out to be wonderful. <laughs> Fail. soil even though I didn't really want to. Yep, look at that. Oh. That is one well rooted plant so no hope in me keeping that soil. I'll get a new bag. Beautiful. So I kept the um, obelisk trainer because I've got one on the clematis, which, oh my gosh, it's blooming amazingly. Anyway, sorry, mandevillia. Uh, so I've popped this in here, whole new bag of soil because wowza. Now that root ball of soil, I'm just going to dump down behind one of these edges because all of that is nothing land at the moment. More about that later. Um, so anyway, Here's my mandevillia. I will water that in now, stick the drip line back into it, blow this off with the leaf blower. And that is one more pot done. And I actually reckon it looks quite nice with these. So I've got 
my rose, it'll be ready for a prune up soon. Mandevilia, clematis, and then the butterfly bush. Now, if you're really paying attention, this is not the original butterfly bush. You may see some evidence of what happened. I'm not gonna talk about it. It's a bit too embarrassing. <laughs> anyway, this is a beautiful looking plant. I'm happy that I've got it in here. We'll see how long it stays. <laughs> Bye guys.